and welcome to Tea and a Buddy podcast. This is me, Dominic. And me, Erica. This is you, Dominic. Yes. This is you, Erica. And this is me, Erica. <laughs> yes, there you go. Just changing it up a bit, a little bit, you know, on our 63rd episode or something. I think we've done 63 episodes. We're just powering through these. <laughs> You know, we just like talking and talking and talking. <laughs> well, we do it anyway, don't we? So yeah, we're talking so we and talking. Well and we're just talking all day, all <laughs> night. We never get any sleep because we're just talking all the time. <laughs> um, well, we thought we'd do this episode about summer because it's very hot outside. Yeah. And we were just talking, as we usually do. <laughs> Three things to love and hate about Austin in the summer. Or Texas, even. Texas in the summer, yeah. Texas in the summer, because it's all Texas. Let's let's not just blame Austin here. It's all Texas. Well, and you can't really say America, can you? Well, because... no, because, I mean, it's so vast. I mean, up in, I don't know, up in the Midwest, up in, like, North Dakota now, it's probably quite nice, I'd imagine. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Somewhere never been up there. Up in the mountains, maybe, yeah. Up in the mountains, yeah. I mean, we're kind of in the hill country, or we're close to it anyway, of Texas. And in, like... The desert, let's say, in like Las Vegas or somewhere like that, it's going to be a different kind of heat. A different kind of heat. Oh, can't imagine that. I mean, Austin, <laughs> really, it's hotter than anything I've ever known. I mean, I went, I took a trip to Turkey once when I was a kid. I was about 12, and that was hot. We didn't have any air conditioning in the hotel we were staying in. Oh, God. So we just had this fan which blew hot air. And it was like 100 degrees every day. It was, And that was then July. Yeah. That wasn't even August. And it was hot. And we stayed there for about two weeks. It was a great time we had. You know, it was wonderful, wonderful country, Turkey. Should visit it if you can. But um, it was just so hot in the summer. And we took a trip to Ephesus, the ruins of Ephesus. And that was just like miserable because... <laughs> I know, but we stayed stay in a hotel with air conditioning and people were just whacking that air conditioning on you know yeah. to get it cool leave the room. <laughs> didn't want to leave the room i mean we went down we went to swim in the pool but it was full and it was full of germans it yeah. was like every german had st was staying in that hotel and they were in the <laughs> pool screaming and shouting and it was just crazy but um yeah i mean when i moved to austin i think the first summer i was here 2011 yeah. That was, it was 100 degrees straight, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Like every single straight, day. Every single day for like two months. It was not raining. No rain. We were not, yeah, that was like a... And our, and our air conditioning went out for like a week or something, didn't it? was like it? the hottest summer on record, I think. And then we hadn't had rain for a long oh, time. Oh man, it was just so bad. Yeah. It was just so bad. Um, but yes, um... One of the things I do love, as we're going to get onto the list now, okay. one of the things I do love about living in Austin in the summertime when it's hot, when it's 100 degrees, is the swimming. Because you can go swimming. Yeah. And you can go outdoors. Well, I mean, it's kind of like a double. You, you can go swimming and it's in an outdoor pool and everything, but after a while it gets really hot in the pool. <laughs> the water starts getting yeah. hot. Yeah. And it's like because the sun has warmed it and whatever, you know. Mm. So it's better to kind of go to like Barton Springs or um, Deep Eddy. Is that uh -huh. another one? Or Blue Hole or something like that. Well, Deep yeah. Eddy and Barton Springs, they're a natural spring and they stay the same temperature mm -hmm. every, all day, yeah. every day. Uh, yeah, all 60, year round. All year round, 68 degrees, isn't it? Or something, something. like that, yeah. I'm not so sure it's cold to people who are like, oh, I don't like sure swimming in cold water. I'm not sure if it's the same temperature, but I think so, yeah. They're they're both, like, cold. Yeah. Which, I mean, 68, it doesn't seem that cold, but when you think about your body temperature. Your body temperature is what? What's your body? 98? 98.5 98. 98. or something? Yeah, 98.7. Something. Somebody out there knows, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, the swimming over here, I mean, I love it, you know, because you can go swimming and you can get your laps because in. Because in Britain, and... a lot of the swimming, or most of the swimming pools are indoors, aren't they? Usually indoors because it same. rains. It's, it's not the same thing. And they're heated pools as well because it's usually Ugh. cold outside. Yeah. I mean, they're heated, but they, they don't have to be, I mean, in summertime. I mean, if you're lucky enough to live on the coast in Britain, you can go to the beach during a, a, hot, a heat wave, which is like... 80 degrees so or something. I guess not many people have swimming pools, like, in their backyard. Well, a lot of people don't really have 
a very big backyard anyway, I guess. No, I mean, if you're rich enough to have one, there's not really much point in having one in Britain. Yeah. Because it's like, I mean, having an, an outdoor one in the backyard, you know, because it's like it rains wind and stuff comes off the tree you know the stuff comes yeah. off the trees and gets in the water and you have to you're cleaning it constantly so it's it's upkeep yeah you know it's it's more trouble than it's worth i mean really. i think i think if you have an indoor one then yeah you know i mean i think having a swimming pool anywhere is probably more trouble than it's worth really <laughs> unless you can afford to have somebody take care of it for you you know like a um somebody who cleans it and all of that all the time because otherwise yeah uh, they have those covers you can put on them but i think even yeah then, even then it's still yeah you know and you have frogs like frogs laying, laying their eggs in Little your frogs <laughs> in your drain system and yeah, everything i mean that's <laughs> another that's another thing you know like um you know the fr- frogs and stuff i mean we used to like get little bugs and stuff. we used to go swimming at that one yeah. apartment complex pool and there used to be like the, the trees would like malt into it so there'd be a lot of like branches and flowers and stuff you know just like floating on top leaves and pollen and (laughs) and stuff floating on top and of course bugs and i got i got well i don't know if it was stung i might have been stung i don't know but i think i was bitten by a mosquito on the eye once because that was the only thing (laughs) we didn't know we didn't know we didn't even know that it happened till my eye swelled up and i looked like i'd been punched in the face (laughs) Swelled all the way closed. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could still see out of it, but yeah. But yeah, another thing, another one is the festivals, blues on the green and stuff like oh, that. You yeah. know, that's a good thing to go to in the mm-hmm. summer. You know, you can go out, you can take a little picnic, you know, take an umbrella, so you, well, a, a parasol, uh-huh. so you can shield yourself from the sun. But usually people go to them when the sun's going down. Mm-hmm. It's still hot, though. It's hot, but it's nice. It's it's bearable if there's a breeze. Yeah. And sometimes there isn't a breeze, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> but you know, that's you know, that's the yeah, the risk you've got to take. Yeah, we have a lot of outdoor festivals. I mean, in, you used to have like Austin. one called Fun 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 Fest that used to run in the summer, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, the major ones like ACL and South by Southwest, they they're kind of they book spring in spring and fall, spring and fall, yeah. not mm-hmm. when it's too hot here. Yeah. Because I can imagine, can you imagine if they held ACL or South by Southwest now? Yeah. In the summer. I mean, during the summer. Because it's July in now. Austin, though, we do have a lot of things like um, concerts in the park and movies in the park. And we do have a lot of outdoor concerts, things. Yeah. But they're all mostly things that happen sort of as the sun is setting. <laughs> yeah, because in the heat of the day, it, you you no, one, no pool. one will want to be out standing up. And especially if they're drinking alcohol and stuff, oh God, yeah. they would be, they would have passed out from the heat exhaustion. I mean, you know, we've been to many softball games. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I mean, I guess baseball games, you know, like um, kids' softball games and stuff. And the coaches and whatever, they're just passing out because it's so hot, you know. Yeah, not literally. He's they're, not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. They're literally passing out because the ambulance comes the in. The ambulance and everything. comes in and. Um, yeah, and they're just passing out everywhere. Sorry about that. Just slosh some tea everywhere. So <laughs> terrible, terrible crisis of things there. Um, another thing is, another thing I love is the ice cream. Yeah, you can get that ice cream. That helps keep you cool. Definitely. That helps keeps you cool. Keep you cool, and you can get like snow cones and shaved ice here. I, I mean, I guess it started in Louisiana, New Orleans. Shaved snowballs, eye. Is what it snowballs says. <laughs> New uh, Orleans style. style. Snowballs. Yeah, and I'm just like, why are they New Orleans stars? I guess they, they started. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea, actually. The, um, someone look that up or someone knows about that. If anybody that. knows, yeah, where um, snow cones started, if they were a Louisiana thing originally. Or... Yeah, or if they've just appropriated Do that. Do they have those in Britain, snow cones? I don't really remember getting one. So maybe explain what a snow cone is then. <laughs> it's it's just like really like crushed, it's crushed ice packed together and mm-hmm. they just put syrup on top of it. Yeah, you just literally use like an ice cream scoop. So and it's, it's flavored kind of syrup and it's, it's, it's not like pancake syrup or anything like that, although they haven't done that yet. They probably will. <laughs> but it's like, it's like raspberry flavored syrup, chocolate flavored syrup, um, butterscotch, coconut, coconut lime... You know, like orange, 
And it's just kind of like, you know, you, you're you just basically eating syrup and water, basically. Yeah. But it's nice when it's really hot out. And they, they put cream over, over it sometimes, too. Yeah. Sometimes they'll put, like, a scoop of vanilla ice cream. They call that a snowman. <laughs> they put vanilla ice cream and then the crushed ice with the syrup, and then they'll put cream on the top. It's like... A little snowman. Yeah, they call it a snowman. <laughs> I mean, that really takes off the shaved ice... It's similar sort of thing, but the ice is cut differently. It's like little yeah, thin slivers. You just kind of eat that with a spoon. Eat that with a spoon. I mean, what do you eat the snow cone with? You just eat in it. Mouth. You put the it in your mouth. You just like... put that whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, you just no, bite yeah, it with your teeth. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I mean, prefer... sometimes you can get that in a cup. Too, I do. And you eat I, it with a I, strong yeah, spoon. I prefer the um, the shaved but, ice. But sometimes they'll just literally put it in a cone. Yeah. Like an ice cream cone, only it's a paper cone. And you don't yeah. eat it, obviously. <laughs> you can't eat it. You just use the cone to hold it. See, with it. an ice cream, you get like a wafer cone or a sugar cone, and it's very delicious. You can yeah. eat everything, every little bit of it. Yeah, I mean, they have ice cream everywhere, obviously, but it makes it a lot more fun to eat it. I mean, as if you need a reason to eat ice cream, but when it's hot outside, it's really especially I mean, this nice is, I mean, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean, Austin... It's so hot. I mean, you don't see people going out, but I think ice cream vans would make a killing here. You know, like serving soft serve. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure how much power that would require and stuff, yeah, but in Britain, when it's hot, you know, you see them everywhere. They come out and they drive, they park up by the beach and whatever, and you know, people line up to get one. Yeah. And it's like over here, the ice cream van is just like ice cream bars and. Mm-hmm. And it's just like wah wah, you, you know. You can get cans of soda from them too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, frozen slushies. You get, you get slushies too. I don't know. Or slurpees yeah. or whatever. Sometimes maybe I'm not sure, but yeah, mostly it's just popsicles, um, like ice, ice cream sandwiches. sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches, yeah. Ice cream bars like Magnums and stuff like that, yeah. you know. And you can get cones, but it'll be like the cones with nuts around. Oh, like a cornetto, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, I call a cornetto. I I don't what yeah. do you call it over here? Drumstick. 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 Yeah, that's, that's it. Right. That's the brand, I think. But yes, on to things we hate now. That's <laughs> uh, which there's there's we narrowed it down to three. Well, I have anyway, but um. You were having trouble coming up. I, I, I was kind of, I, yeah, because I mean, it's kind of like, you know, things kind of like go with one thing, you know, like yeah. the swimming, mm-hmm. like the, well, the excessive heat is the first one. It's just excessive heat all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's like the low, it doesn't get cold until it's time to go to sleep, um, until it's like well after midnight, you know, it doesn't get like cold. It doesn't ever get cold. It doesn't ever get cold in the night, no, because it doesn't really, it cools down, but not so much. Usually like in the, in the dead of summer, it'll be in the nineties to a hundred. And then at night it gets like into the high seventies for the low. If you were camping in this weather. Mid to high seventies, yeah. You know, you wouldn't need a sleeping bag because it would just be, you know. Yeah so hot you would probably want to be in a tent though for your next reason the thing that you hate (laughs) well the dust and dryness oh well that too i guess but the bugs the bugs oh yeah and with the heat come all the bugs (laughs) all of them the hornets like huge angry hornets making nests like snakes locusts Yes, that you know, little th- thing that goes wah out little, of the tree. That little thing away. that goes wah out of the tree that tries to get <laughs> us every morning when we're walking past. <laughs> and it does it every in the same spot every time. Yeah, and it flies out and we can never, it's always too fast for us to tell. Is it a little bird? It goes Is wah it a- and it goes doo, out and it almost like dives at our, like, dives at our head, you yeah. know. It sees us coming, it's like wah and it just shoots out the tree like <laughs> like a early warning system or something. <laughs> It must be a bird. That's it's a, a bird. It's got a little there. nest or something, but I never see but what it is. But it goes, it goes whack like that, right, right by your ear, and it goes, you know, like yeah. takes a swipe at you, you know, and you never see what it is. <laughs> but we've never seen. We've, we've never, never gotten seen a good it. Look at it. It's, <laughs> it just flies it's, out. It's so protecting quick. a nest or something. Snakes are another thing. We've seen a couple of snakes. Yeah. You know, one was like really like a um, stereotypical one. It was like in an S shape, and it was coming a along and we we both me and your mother both spotted it and you were just right you were right in its path and it was like stopping looking at you yeah when we went walking one night <laughs> yeah and, I and, totally and, you, and, you, and you were like what and he was like there's a snake and you went wow <laughs> i'm not really like that 
hugely scared of snakes, but this one was like, it was a the little, little one. dance she did. It was just so cute. But it, but it was like all primed to strike because I had scared it. it. Yeah, like, like I was right in its path. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. yeah I like, so I kind of freaked out. <laughs> Whoa! But we live by a creek, so. Yes, we live by a creek. So there's, there's things like turtles and water moccasins and the water moccasins. and we see them all the time I and mean, we put them up as like stories on our instagram yeah sometimes whenever we see them so if you're not following us on instagram like today we've got we've got one going through about the buzzards that we oh, saw in yeah. the park when we were on our walk today and there was so many and we thought oh my god is that a dead body <laughs> yeah. and it was a dead body but it was the body of a little baby deer or oh, something no. and it was in the I woodland didn't get close enough i didn't want to see it was in the woodland too so we were like what what happened there, you know? Yeah. How did it die there, you know? Because... I think probably a bobcat or a Bobcat or, or a mountain lion. Yeah. Or... A coyote, maybe. Yeah. But you were like, oh, why wouldn't it have just finished it off? But Why wouldn't it just eaten it all? Maybe it got but scared off. You maybe know, the or... buzzards... Because the buzzards can be kind of um, pushy. There were so many. There was about 30 of them there. Yeah. All around that poor little thing. Ugh. Yeah. And it must—it was a little baby. I could see like the ribs and stuff, and you know they were just picking it clean. Yeah. And they were all flying around, and there was so many of them, you know. And they were still, and we we walked away from it, and we were gone about maybe ten or fifteen minutes, and we came back, and there, there was they were still there. So a lot of them were still there, you know, just hanging out, you know, just to make sure there was nothing left of the poor thing. Oh God, yeah. But, but yeah. But, go, but going back to the snakes. Going back really to the quick. snakes. They're coming to get you. Uh, yeah, we call them water moccasins, the, the snakes that live in the... In the water. Like, in the water, yeah. And, you know, you've got anacondas and stuff. <laughs> but no, you're, you're talking about swim, yeah. swimming being a lovely thing about about being in Texas I mean, I in the summer. In that creek. But yeah, but a lot of people go, oh, it's so hot, you know, and this is a fresh body of water. Let me get in. No. <laughs> the snakes. No, I mean, there are so many snakes in this creek so by where we live. So many snakes. Because we've seen them kind of get up. Because what, what it is, is like it's like a runoff creek. Because it runs off into like, you know, it's like a runoff for like water and stuff, isn't it? Well, it's just a creek, I think. Oh, well, yeah, it's just a creek. But it's got like um that little like plateau or yeah, whatever we walk they've, across. Yeah, they, they've designed it like so that it doesn't so it, like overflow. And, and there's like this little run there. yeah there's like this little runoff there and sometimes you know if the water's rushing too much or the water's you know kind of dry drying up there you can cross but if the water's rushing too much then you can't and a few times we've been up there and you can see them on like the, the slope snakes yeah. to just get out of the water just to kind of rest or whatever yeah. you know and they can move fast. They, they can, can yeah. move. They can zip. Yeah. So you get like close to them to take a picture or a video or something. And if they like decide, that, oh yeah, like, I'm coming to get you, you know, you you're, you're just screwed. you're just screwed. <laughs> yeah. You just woo. <laughs> <laughs> do. Um, I don't know if all water moccasins are poisonous or if it's just like, you know, but but they look really black and like slimy. Well, we saw and... that bull snake <laughs> and stuff. Once yeah, it was huge. That just yeah. eaten or something. That bull snakes are okay bug. though. They're not. I mean, they can bite you, but they're not poisonous. They're just big. Yeah, yeah. Like when Dominic first moved here, I think it was the first summer he was here. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we went walking and um, and this bull snake that was probably what what would you say the width of his body was like, um. It's big around is this microphone. I mean, you can't see the yeah, microphone that we're using, that but even. like, um, like a can of like a hairspray can or a like a quite a large hairspray can, some kind of can. Yeah, he, about a about as big around as that, and we don't know how long he was because he was going into like a hole or in through the grass into the water or something, and he was just, he just kept going and going and going. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, oh my god, I don't know how long he was, but he was quite a big snake. So, yeah, that was a, that's the a one little that, The one that you thought was going to attack you, he, it was a tiny one. You know, he was mm. like snake size, you know, he was like yeah, More what you'd see. He yeah. was like a little grass snake, yeah. Grass snake. Yeah, I mean that's something you don't really have to worry about in Britain, I guess. Is it snakes? Like, well, there, there are snakes there. There's adders and but, stuff. Oh right, yeah. But yeah. You don't have like um, rattlesnakes and stuff. Nah. 
Like the other day, we I mean, were... they they thrive in like desert like conditions, subtropical climates, like well, Austin, well, Texas is. Yeah, I mean, it's a the, subtropical climate. The other everyone. day, we took my niece and nephew to this little pond where there's a load of ducks. So we took some bread and we went to go feed them because that's like a summery thing to do, and and we didn't realize how many ducks. Like there's a load of ducks at this pond, and all around the pond is full of trees and. It's very nice and shady, and there's not really much grass on the ground because there are so many trees, and it's mostly just covered with leaves and then kind of big rocks and stuff, and the ducks were all up there in the shade just like resting, napping, whatever, and we kind of were going up in there, and and the kids wanted to go like feed some of the ducks and like wake them up basically and bother them (laughs) Um, and like throw bread at them and yeah. And everything. And, you know, you get up in there and I instantly started thinking, oh, there's going to be snakes in here because this is like per- Prime snake perfect snake territory. Like snake. Yeah, the rocks. Perfect and snake-like leaves conditions. Leaves for them to slither under. And that is, that's definitely something you have to think about when you go hiking or anything like that. If you just, if, if you just want to go through a track and a little like grassy field in in Austin or in Texas anywhere really during the summer particularly you really have to watch out for snakes because they yeah, they I are mean, in the tall grass yeah yeah i mean you really shouldn't snakes be going through the tall grass yeah you really shouldn't be going yeah. through unless you have you like, shouldn't. thick pants and boots thick on thick pants <laughs> and boots on a rubber thing yeah. that they can't bite through mm-hmm. but if you step on one they will get you they you know, will get you. I don't think it'll give you the time to step on it, the chance to step on it. They'll, it'll get you before you get to step on it, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the bugs and the hornets and the dust and dryness, you know, that's another thing. Yeah, because you don't have hornets in Britain either, do well, you? Well, no. You just have, like, regular wasps. Regular wasps, wasps and <laughs> like bees. What, like little yellow jacket type wasps? Yeah, little yellow jacket types, yeah. yeah. They, they kind of, I mean, a bumblebee is... <laughs> It's like furry and it's cute, you know, yeah. it just goes from flower to flower. But a wasp, you know, just buzzing around all the time. They go, oh, yeah. that wasp. Yeah. Never like stung, that wasp. Because they got stung by a, got, by a hornet. They got other. stung by a hornet the other day when we were out mowing. mowing. The yard. <laughs> I didn't see it. I just heard her scream. And I looked up and I saw this hornet just kind of go, you know, just from your back, you know, just kind of go, got her, I got her. <laughs> but it's not like with a wasp, you know, if a wasp stings you, it dies. Does it? Yeah. A wasp, because it's lost its stinger, and it's just like, Ugh, I thought that know. was just bees. I don't know. I think wasps do it, too. I'm I not, don't know. But they're, they're not, because yellow jackets over here are quite larger, too. Oh, I don't know. Some of them are pretty small. I yeah. only see, I've only seen those red, angry buggers, you know, with the <laughs> black wings, and they're, like, really red. They look those angry. The red hornets. They look, like, angry. They we look like if the there was a dollars. plague of them. But they're they're black. They're sometimes sweet, you know. They're sometimes just like mm-hmm. they look. They Boop. look like they're kind of no. I I find my daughters quite angry looking too. They're big and thick, like like the hornets. Yeah, they are a bit. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> but yeah, the 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 hornets. They're red and they've got the and black wings. What purpose wings. do they serve? And they're just per- angry. <laughs> they're just angry all the time, and they just make their nests. And they there's so many of them. And <laughs> remember, you were like, oh, poor things. You know, when we were gonna destroy their nest one day. Oh, yeah. Because they were all just sleeping there, you know? Yeah. And I was just like, no. What purpose do they serve? You, ha- you have to us. not. You can't let them build nests on your house. No. Cause... I mean, and they do here because, we're, of course, we're right next to a creek. So yeah. there's there's a water source. Water and the mud. And, and they find little, little holes to get in. And, use. you know, I can hear them in the walls yeah. sometimes in here, you know? Mm-hmm. So they've around burrowed the around the windows. They've got un- under up in there, and you can hear them go, you know. <laughs> and it's just like, what? Yeah. Are they coming through or what? But the mosquitoes are your worst enemy. <laughs> mosquitoes are my worst enemy. They're my deadly enemy, actually. The mosquitoes are because they get me, and I can't even see them. You know, they're tiny. And they always get me around the backs of my legs or my ankles yeah. or my elbows, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got to spray when I go out because especially in like dusk or dawn or anything like that, if we go out to like to festivals and stuff because they will attack. I mean, luckily, though, you know, if we go to like a Blues on the Green or something, we're sitting around someone who has like a citronella <laughs> candle, yeah. candle going mm-hmm. and people have sprayed their 
spray themselves so it's like they don't come around so much. Yeah. I mean, you don't really get bitten. I mean, oh, is that a bite there? No, they don't bite me. Uh, they don't really get you. Sometimes, I think some what maybe once or twice the odd time. I mean, yeah, they, they get me every once in a while, but the bite just like literally lasts a few. Yeah, hours she, she's not. I, I guess. I guess what it is is because they don't really care for your blood that much, but they're just yeah. like, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll have it anyway. Because they don't really get. But they it. love my blood, and you know, I think two or three of them get on the same spot. You know. Every yeah. once in a while, you know, because they I just... I think my sister-in-law is the same way. She gets eaten alive by by mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's my just niece, like... niece, yeah. It's just like, ah. So, yeah. it's terrible. Never come to Texas. Never come to, <laughs> in the summer, anyway. Well, the dust and dryness is the your dust, last the, the, the dust and dryness is my last thing. I mean, it gets really dusty and dry here you can see it when you're driving on the road in and austin it's not so dusty and dry though i mean most of the time unless we're do unless we're I like in a drought i th i don't know i think it might be a little bit you complain about the humidity though sometimes and yeah the humidity sometimes because i sweat a lot i mean i sweat like a cartoon like um the penguin in wallace and gromit like the penguin in the wallace and gromit when he's trying to get the crystal and you know he's like sweating he's just like a you know, I'm like that in the heat over here. I'm literally like that. I'm, I, you can see it running down my face, and I'm just like that. <laughs> like, like I'm ner constantly nervous about something that's going on, you know. <laughs> it's a very tense situation. But no, it's just so hot here, you know. And it's like I, I don't even have to be like running or walking or doing anything. You just sit out in the heat, and it's just like, you, you know, my body's just like, why are we sitting in this heat? It's too hot. I need to cool you off. Yeah, it's funny because I mean, I mean, you don't really sweat. I mean, it's. I guess it's like maybe it's British people. They're just not I, built for this. Because I know a lot of British people say, "Yeah, I went out to California or I went out to, you know, Texas, and it was in the summertime, and I was just like, oh, you know, I was just sweating and sweating and sweating, you know, and I, I wasn't mean, even doing the, anything." But I mean, in theory, once you've been here a certain number of years or you're time supposed or to get, but you, I, you should I've be been here nearly it. 10 years now and I'm still not used to it <laughs> I don't think anyone really truly gets used to it really you know yeah, I mean I don't know one summer I went to Britain and spent like a couple months I think and so that was, it was June like, that was that was June June and July June I think and July and then I came back here and I did feel it. I could feel the heat then. You could feel the heat. It was just like, oh, it was oppressive. Yeah, I remember. It was infernal. I remember it was excessive. saying to my mom, I was like, it's like hotter than the sun. What is happening? It's so wrong. You know, I was just angry because it was so hot. And like, Yeah, and I mean, I'm still like that. I mean, I don't know if it's like, you know, because I spent so long in Britain, you know, I was there from... And, you know, we just get, you know, we get heat wave and stuff. We get like a little, like, you know, two well, yeah, weeks. I mean, apparently it's, temperature recently, didn't you? it's apparently going to be 98 some, some day this week. So Britain's going through a heat wave. That's like very hot. That's going to be very hot. Yeah. I, I can't wait to, I, I hope that happens because I can't wait to see how, <laughs> how there's going to be a national emergency. Because I bet there will be, people will be calling 999 because it'll be like, oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> oh, I, my, my grandmother just died because it's so hot. No, I mean, that can happen. Um, and there's no, <laughs> a, there's no, yeah, it can happen. But there's no AC. In most places. In most places. Most, and, you know, you open a window and in it's. most houses, anyway. You know. I mean, luckily, funnily enough, we were just looking this up the other night. The Gulf Stream, the Gulf Stream waters. Yeah. And, you know go up to like Britain and stuff and that's what makes it a mild temperate climate yeah because a lot of people think that um Britain is really cold and it's not actually it's super not actually cold. super cold no it just feels cold because of the wind and the rain mm -hmm. and it's it, pretty much that same temperature most of the year most of the year yeah yeah it's a temperate climate so yeah, yeah. it's sort of like LA only a, a bit colder, colder. yeah yeah I mean, but it's not like blizzard. People it's who come like... from Chicago, the Midwest, or all that, you know, where they get really harsh winters with mm -hmm. snow and Canada, Canada, and stuff like that. You know, they be like, "Oh, you go to Britain, it's going to be very cold." Da, da, da. It's not really. Yeah, it's it's, just it's, like it's a... livable. You know, it's like if it's they're if like it's it was a, wet, but <laughs> if there's a bit of snow in Britain, everything closes. Everything's like, "Oh, it's that's it." You know, it's over. You know, airports yeah. shut down, buses don't run. It's too snowy. We can't do this. <laughs> 
but you know if it's raining the beast from the east the beast from the east that <laughs> happens every once in a while and that came in like March or April didn't it I don't know yeah we're really weird I think I think that's it <laughs> That's that's my list of things I love and hate about Texas in the summertime. Summer in Texas, yeah. But so, yeah, do all the things if yeah, you're well, not following us on... First of all, I want to oh, yeah. know, let us know on social media, which, whichever you prefer, um, what your favorite and least favorite things about the summer are. And if you've spent them... In Texas or... In Texas or, or anywhere else, somewhere that has a quite a different climate than wherever you're from. Yeah. Let us know that, too, because I find all of that kind of thing very interesting. We all find it very interesting. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, we are on coffee. If you enjoy our content and would like to give us a tip and help keep us running, um, you are free to do that. Yes, please do. We're... Tea buddy or tea and buddy? I'm not tea sure. Tea buddy, I think we are. Yeah. We're tea buddy most places. Most places. Like T E A B U T T Y. But if, if if it's not tea buddy, then it's tea and a buddy. So yeah. you can find And us. you can find all of us. You can find, our, you know, it's just, uh, it's a, there's a picture of us on it. So <laughs> you can find all of You know our, what we look like. You so. can find all of our links on our website, teaandabuddy.com. Yes. Anyway, so go click the link. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all subscribe that kind of stuff. And if you would like to support us in other ways, we always appreciate you sharing, sharing liking, liking, um, giving us a review, rating us wherever you yes. can, all of that kind of stuff. And when you've given us a review, let us know and. You know, we'll go look at it. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll give you a shout out. And we'll give you a shout out. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll, we, we, we love giving support, people shout so. outs. So we shout out to everyone on here that all our firm followers, <laughs> all our faithful firm followers, <laughs> all, all our, our followers. Oh my God. I think yes. it's time to go. I think it's time to go. Bye. Goodbye.